afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to another exciting and everything and amazing propaganda cast from your host, Imperial Dane, the one, the only master of propaganda. Off here to E1 versus 1 on Engelville in the north of the Zelpen, fighting for the Wehrmacht, Germany, Deutschland, taking on the role here of the second panzer division with Jaeger Infantry, Ostrom, and German Infantry. Double Infantry Panther, or Infantry Panther, Panther has been in the south, it is. Rotmeister's Pelecki, we'll just be calling Pelecki, fighting here for America, freedom, democracy. Rolling out here with the 4th Armored Division, got infantry, airborne, and rifle. And in fact, Rotmeister's Pelecki pop straight into rifle company with children and Wilsons. And we got Alpen with German infantry, featuring 250 1 half tracks, veteran school leaders, stormtroopers, salt and hold, and fragmentation bombs versus Pelecki's ECH Germans. Rifleman defensive structures. Advanced infantry equipment, fire up, and white phosphorus barrages. Gun the MD-42 with the open. Dark rifle here for Pelecki. Pelecki heading eastwards there. Elpen heading westwards. Bold and aggressive there. Honestly, a bit rare to see one side actually sticking to the east side, since normally in Angle, increasing after the changes, the main most players actually tend to both folks on the west side. But here, Pelecki is actually going hard east. We see now open active expecting forces eastwards to disrupt and harass that. But that might leave himself more vulnerable here in the west. A good push by Pelecki, perhaps. Second gun is going on the way to the Felpen. Pelecki will probably go for the third rifle squad, then take up. Of course, he could also theoretically push for a fourth rifle squad. Bit of skirmishing there. We have some versus going to be seems enough. Not grabbing the fuel pump. We're actually looking to grab one of the first northern points here. Strange move there by Pelecki. Third rifle squad on the way. Second gun is good, almost done for Elpen. Looks like Pelecki's backing off from the west here for now. Probably seeing the MG42 point in his general direction. He decides it is perhaps the wiser move not to walk straight into that. Also, big thanks to Marcus for donating and support the, supporting the propaganda cuts with his hard earned money. Big thanks to Marcus. You're part of my company, Heroes. You usually can join such glorious rank by donating yourself on paper or pledge on Patreon. Links in the description. Now he's skirmishing here. Got this falling back in the face of Rifle. Rearson's rolling up in the building here. Elpen's forces could find themselves in a bit of a sticky spot here against. Pelecki's Rifle Squad. Rifle Squad flanking in here. South side, we got Rifle Squad moving up. Then Pelecki can soon take up. They're going slightly for Lieutenant. But of course, he could go for the Captain, anti aircraft half tanks, and pack howitzers. More gunners left open. Likely going to be the Trouble Gun the MD42 opening there. Standard stuff if you're not going for Ostrom. Rifle charging on the knees. Gunners quickly ride here under heavy fire from the Rifle and their M1 Garand. Semi automatic rifles. Not close against the Gunners. There you go. Rifle and Rearson's moving back here. South side Rifle moving up there. MU42 moving in here. Looks like Elpen's right hitting back hard here at Pelecki. He's trying to play aggressively back here at Pelecki. Needs to be careful, of course, not to extend his machine gun. No tech yet. Back here in base. Still, we do in fact have the Lieutenant going up there for Pelecki. Very good. Very good. Rather school finding that the uh, fortress shed was not perhaps as much as a fortress as they'd like it to be and will need to retreat soon. Almost got the victory point there. Troop reinforcing, need to start fast here. Got the victory point there. We got Ralph coming on the west, they're going for the Western fuel point. They turn it out here as well for Pilecki for freedom, democracy. Meanwhile, Elpen and the second punch are advancing here swiftly for Germany. Tech halfway done there for Elpen. I imagine Pilecki will be going for some 50 cals here. It seems like now both sides are actually switching sides. So Elpen's now grabbing the eastern side of the map and Pelecki's grabbing the western one. Swift maneuvers there. Flame was up there for Pelecki's re echelons. Very good, though. Probably should treat them first reinforced before trying to engage the enemy with them since they're going to get wiped quickly. Machine moving back westwards here. Elpen are displaying some great alacrity with his weapons. Of course, he's careful not to leave the machine gun too extended. Could do himself over to a good counter punch there by Pelecki and could get very painful. Graf Squad, there's a press by the way, they're turning up more far west. Graf Squad on the east side, we got a good squad only moving to cover the flank and then before two there. Thumbs up, he isn't retreating. Fifth count lead there for Pilecki. Graf Squad routed, being suppressed and engaged by the pioneers. Ends up not being too great there for the lieutenant. So right now, Pilecki's situation in terms of resources. Looking a bit rough here as Elpen strikes forwards. For Deutschland, there you go. 10 caught in 42 and routed as well. Looking a bit rough, particularly now for Pelecki. He's not getting any of the fuel here, and soon Elpen's going to have access to both fuel points. He's going for another Gunadier squad here. After take, not Pan's Gunadier's there. Bit of a rarer sight, and there you go. 50 cal about ready for Pelecki. Took reinforcing. Could, of course, consider an ambulance soon to up his troops. More grand points here. Sandbacks up. Thumbs up. 
Pawns have been seized by the Grenadiere of the German army. Fifth coming ahead here for Palecki. Fifth forcing, the machine is sitting up, they're expecting a counter attack here. Elfman's got a pretty good beat here on how Palecki's moving about. The Lisa's got some good predictions though. Right here though, gets slightly wrong footed. Playing for teaming up ahead here. We've got more troops moving up here. Fifth can get aggressively here versus Elpen. And clearly, he was not expecting Fifth Cal to pawn down in this aggressively here. Now we're going to be under fire from the Fifth Cal. Now he managed to get behind some trees to avoid that. Bridge moving up, catching the Grenadiers there. More troops heading up, they're heading westwards here. Rough court moving up, then before repositioning. Fifth Cal hanging back here. A lot of action, a lot of maneuvering. Nothing further going on in the Elpen space. Now you're going to falling back, but they're getting hunted by the Flame Fruit team. Rough court is pressed by the MD42. Fifth Cal moving up here. Getting the Grenadiers there by the victory point. Down to the point. He's getting a wipe out, a small white loss there for Elpen. He's got another punch, which replaced the one lost here, but still. Palecki sitting hard. Rough caught the right by the MD42. And it's being pinned down by the fifth cal here. Almost got the eastern point. Meanwhile, the western assault continues. Grenadiers are being slowly hunted down here as Palecki moves forwards here for America. Pioneers got them to ready ambush the weather for Palecki for freedom and democracy. Pioneers setting out. They're obviously in the like to make a nice company. Yes, indeed. But looks of it here from. Elpen and Deutschland. Fifth coming ahead, MD42 position, expecting him to move up there. Though, of course, with a heavy cover, if he gets in a position for the MD42 spots him, he could actually beat the MD42 there. Then again, he may not be able to see him at all. Oh, there you go, spot it, but still. Ah, well, hard to say they're both suppressed now, but MD42 just reload. The thing is, when you suppress, it takes longer to reload. A little fun fact there. Grab the point here. So there you go. This is going to be a really awkward engagement. But there you go. Fifth cal. Oh, there you go. Incendi armor piercing rounds. He's hitting back hard himself. No idea how this engagement is going to turn out. This could go either way. But yeah, ends up retreating there. Doesn't take the chance. When he's pushing forward, they've some score leads up. Got the 2 2 for Elpen as well. Western points. He's here by Pilecki. Mechanized command post ready. Ambulance. Providing healing there for the troops. We have some the point here. Lieutenant flanking up. He's going to hit the machine gun side, perhaps. Not a bad idea, of course. It does give itself away. Then again, might give itself open to a push from the south. Armored car almost on the Felpen. Going for the fuel point there. Looking to get, deny the Americans that essential precious fuel. The lifeblood of democracy. And to turn around here by the Gunnadies. And Pioneers moving up here as well. Mine goes off. They're killing several Gunnadies. Ludwig and Heinz find themselves lacking their feet and other vital instruments of, you know, normal life and we got the captain of a opting for more infantry against the krauts perhaps also getting out into a tank and take on it's got to go up to the rough court here then one grand singing out death and there you go a wipe on elpen Pelpen's yet to get a wipe here on peleg the now peleg scored two wipes upon you squad and a gonna do here east of the right about the gun is one squad almost taking out again armor card that's pushing forward here a flurry auto cannon fire there tearing through american ranks Alongside the Kirkson machine gun, replacing the influences with more grenadiers. Seems like Elpen has. Oh, goes for the pack 40 here instead. I was about to say he has a aversion to Panzer Grenadiers or Stormtroopers. Troops reinforcing healing, and we got the Captain almost done there for Pilecki. Fifth coming ahead here. We got 477 to 439, and there you go. Captain Robert O'Neill moving out there from New York. Troops reinforcing healing, they're setting out. Pipcal holding back here, up north, going to be sitting out, armored car being repaired, so a bit dinged up, then pack 40 almost done for Elpen. Returning eastwards, Trupton Falls and Healing, there with the ambulance. Going to think about, they're getting better and school leaders added. MD42 reinforcing, going to just grab the point far west. Bazooka on the lieutenant, obviously a bit worried about that armored car. Gunnies healing themselves up, Gunnies advancing, Pioneers back in the goal up, and there goes train hits the battle line from Pilecki and Freedom Me Mother Soldiers pushing up east side here. Elpen struggling with the man control at the moment. Machine gun is not a thing good for to deal with. In fact, it's really still needing reinforcement. So Pilecki's taking advantage of this here versus Elpen, who's establishing himself of battle line here by the fuel point. Armored car flying support there as well. East side though, German territory is completely vanishing here. Like do before the sun of freedom. Back in Elpen space, nothing further going on there. Back in Pilecki's base, not much happening going on there either. He could of course go for Sud, but then again with the current timing, he might be better off just trying to push for medium armor now. Relying on some anti-tanks to hold off the Crouts. Rav's got moving up here, pack 40 MD42 there opening up. Well, the MD42 is opening the pack, not too much, and there you go. M1 anti-tank gun 
for Pilecki. Freedom Democracy. Armored car chain hit against. Ooh, gets Bane to rock. And to tank rock grenade here. Except he doesn't have the munitions. And we got Storms right here for Elpen. Sneaking in here at the rear of the German lines. And the grand squad of Panzer Grenadiers clearly from the second Panzer Division. Fun fact the Germans were big fans of infiltration tactics. Probably again, because German infantry was based around stormtroopers of World War One, which also relied heavily on infiltration tactics. Little fun fact there, by the way. Little fun fact there. The stormtroopers we had here equipped with the MP40s. Lieutenant caught by these stormtroopers. And with the bazooka, they do like a bit more firepower versus stormtroopers. There's a good chance if they sort of get close enough, they can take out the lieutenant. Which enough, they're not pushing in as fast as they can. We got the armored carnival risk getting knocked out, in for sitting up, but not quite pulling the right direction either. West side here, Elpen is being pushed back here as he's pulling to push into the east there. Or when we actually, well, what the Pilecki has, in fact, the lieutenant's in a good now risk zone, they're being wiped up. There you go, flank for a team of running, but I don't think the lieutenant can enough rock forming in here. The lieutenant is dead, bazooka dropped. Definitely, I think, a bit of a mistake there by Pilecki. Should have treated the lieutenant faster. Push his luck too far. Could even see another one. There, good touch for the bounce. Elpen's going for the kill on the Rav Squad. MP40 is blazing out. Hot death and no retreats right past the tree line there and avoids annihilation. Yes, they need to retreat themselves soon. Pilecki is really pushing his luck here incredibly hard here versus Elpen. Will this be a wipe or will they somehow have the luck of the devil themselves? And there you go. Fifth cover round here to suppress and prevent the wipe down the rear system. But three, that's ridiculously close. Bring up again, I think Gondias here. Back hitch reinforcing. No tech yet there from him or from Elpen. Neither side pushing with Mikimama anytime soon. Smoke grenade down here from the Stormtrooper, saving them here from the 50 cal. And there you go. Hey, fun here. Up close to the Rifle are beating the Gondias with a veteran school leader. They are not. That is not enough against the might of the M1 Garand. Good old American guts. Grab the eastern point here. Grab the northern point there with the pack 40. Tech on the way there for open. Very good. And I believe Pilecki himself is also pushing for medium arm at the same time. For Pilecki, he should probably push for EC8. So they are going to be basically premium mediums that are definitely a step above the Panzer IV in a lot of ways. Oh, that's a bad call here by Pilecki. I guess he wasn't paying attention for charging straight into stormtroopers with infantry. Typically is not something that ends with a happy ending for the ones doing the charging. Troops are treating for reinforcements. Tech almost done there for open. Pelecki's tech is almost done. He definitely needs to fight harder for the fuel here. Ralph's going hit with their bazooka. And there you go, goes to the armored car, except they gave it to Lewis, who's a bit cross-eyed, and so hits the ground instead. Sorry, Sarge. And we're to take in there. Manned by his brother, who's also cross-eyed. Major Moniz was there. Going to shouting the captain here. Armor coming in. Almost getting getting squad here. That's definitely not the great move in the turn there by Elpen. Chucking the captain was beyond his Thompson. Almost costing the Gundia squad there. Difficult means here. Probably could be used slightly more actively here versus Elpen. Which was caught there. Neither side haven't committed to any artillery. No mortars whatsoever from either side. Definitely, I think, want to consider that eventually. Now, of course, they are haunted by the German army here. Heavy cash in the flicks. He's almost getting a wipe there, but once more, if you like his luck. Mm, sets in. Fifth car holding up inside the building still. Eastern point fuel pumping ceased here by Pilecki. Want to grab the victory point as well. We got 434s, 405. And he's looking for a flank in the fifth car position. A bit exposed here, to be honest. Major out. That's set. Elvis could want to be able to push out a medium tank here ahead of Pilecki, unless he is really slow getting tech going. Fifth car route, but there you go. Almost got the armored car in turn. Rav's caught charging in there. One more hit in the armored car. And there you go. The armored car goes down. It's small loss here for Elpen and the German army. The second Panzer Division finds its armored reconnaissance gone in the blink of an eye. Infantry at the front line there. Firmly holding the line on so they're giving the go ahead to retreat here by Elpen. As he realizes this can't hold at all. Eastern Fuel in the sea. Scram these munitions as well. Good probes there again. Good management of several fronts. Of course, need to be careful not to try and push your luck too far either. Western fuel point there defended, so he actually has now both fuel points here versus Pilecki, Elpen. So while Elpen 
actually, he hasn't built his former coin yet. The Reds could have been pushed with medium on faster. Pelecki might have the chance to catch up, make to get an easy hit, in particular if Elpen remains a bit slow here on the whole build the Sapomacor side of things. But there you go. He gets the Pioneers moving. He gets that Sapomacor up. Grab these and victory point as well. Pushing West Coast. See, we got Storms with Rav Squad. Strive Squad. Definitely make a mistake. Won't be too close to the Stormtroopers. They're obviously might have the time of spotting them. Should pop Tax and Violence here, I think. But miss the opportunity. And then up close, the Stormtroopers are beating them. Gaining Veteran 2. The unit retreating. Then again, the also reason he might not have done was because the other squad there could have had a good, better chance without the Stormtroopers. Going for the cop on there. Good disruption by Elpen. Turn the tables there on Pilecki in that regard. Thumbs up. So Pomacom is done. Pilecki slopes, of course, going for Sherman. I think she just save up for the EC8. Since his opponent's likely going to hit him with a Panzer IV. At which point, again, the EC8 with its high armor, high health, high penetration is very much superior to the Panzer IV. That's no matter, of course, the inner repairability of the EC8. Plus, it's smoke ability. Trips enforcing healing, entertaining and moving out. Is it caught here by the advancing Grenadilla after the second Panzer Division? It's to those rear echelons. The North Major versus the Pioneer. Need to get out of there. Really wants that rear team dead and their flame for a gun. Worth noting, it's not a great zone, Pioneers. There's a lot of back and forth between Elpen and Pilecki. Now the side's slowing down against the other one, looking to gain the upper hand. And there you go, Panda 4 right about done for Elpen for Deutschland. Should, of course, add the Pinamite machine gun. Sub so, a wipe here, the Major is dead. Machine gun actually is getting wiped out for the captain with a bit of bad. In fact, down just the gun and then heavy cover. Yes, down the MD42 goes a stinging blow there to Elpen. Great win there for Pilecki, though. He may not be able to get away with this. He's got the pen for the blazing 40. Rav's got the gun. These need to retreat. That is not going to be a win there for Pilecki, even remotely fit to fighting. I suppose more support by firing at the tank, but you know. His knight's going to stop. There you go. The M1 enter tank and up running something a bit better than more support. But actually firing armor piercing rounds at the Panzer IV. Thoughts and prayers may be nice, but doesn't beat a 57mm armor piercing round. Ralph Gordon Eastern side. And a tank gunner there. Suddenly finds herself lacking some infantry support. And gets quickly up in the infantry and Elpen sets about quickly destroying it. Feel like he can now go for the EC8. There we go. And he's definitely used the captain's supervisor to speed up the production. Though, of course, he does that. It does tend to be one of the more overlooked American abilities. Along with combined arms and, well, honestly, most abilities, to be honest, except for anti tank rav grenades. Looks like he is not supervising. Definitely a slight mistake there with Pelecki. He doesn't that easy out by now, or less, almost. Since again, the captain supervisor ability really boosts the production of like anything. So I'm surprised he's not trying to just force it up. Well, I've got right in the west of the storm. Troopers half eight to veterinary three. A lot of Elpen's infantry though is heavily worn out. So again, the lack of a tank to like, just further exploit this definitely feels like an oversight there by Pelecki. He may also want to sort consider weapon racks soon so he can get out some BARs. And some additional bazookas that were putting more pressure on Elpen's infantry and armor. 375 to 390, still pretty close in terms of victory points. There we go, Sherman EC8 out. Named the EC8 due to its suspension upgrade, which made it well for a smoother ride. We're sitting out there, adding the 50 cover there. Fierce, they're about to get wiped out. Pelecki needs to be careful. Storms are retreating. Oh, bad timing there with tax advance. costs Elpen quite a bit, costing him the storm to escort. He's hitting the forwards here, straight at the east hit. Panzer 4, there you go. Great hit. Panther 4 misses the first pen, but there you go. Pack 40 gets a hit, backs off here. Fails the thing to get off a finishing shot here, and the Panther 4 gets a Panther fast instead. Close one there, though, for Pelecki. Close shave for Elpen. Shan there pushed back. But can quickly fix it, takes itself up. Compared to Lee for open to fix up his pen force, he has to detach a frontline unit to the pioneers. Whereas again, for Pilecki, he could just pop out the crew and fix again. That is a huge tax advantage. We feel like it's overlooked by a lot of Americans. And it's Ralph Gordon up here, Captain Johnning in. He's starting again being claimed here before America as well. Elpen using the train as much as can he versus Pilecki. Captain Ralph Mingheti and 
supporting here, MD42 is moving up the eastern side here, and again, Alpen lacking in machine guns. It's going to have a harder time here dealing with Pilecki's infantry now. In particular, Pilecki again, where to go for weapon rack? Oh, big mistake, Pilecki didn't retreat the rifle in time. Nice kill there for Alpen. Definitely going to have a bunch there, as Pilecki's now standing around the troops. And we got a grenade off there, rifle grenade there, costing further casualties. He's just suddenly lost two infantry squads in a short amount of time, and this is pretty big for Alpen. Like, he was starting to fall behind aggressively, getting two wipes like that because, partly again, Pilecki was uh, starting to uh, get, I think, too overconfident. It's great, and now he pushed these hit too far ahead. He, this is terrifyingly great for Pilecki. It's amazing though for Open. Like, Pilecki just pretty much completely reset any other thing, like, you know, advantage. He might just tap by throwing away the two infantry scores like that and then charge in the tank. I have no idea what Pilecki is thinking here, but that was just. Ow. That seems like just he got tilted and the infantry losses just tried to somehow fix with the tank and it just made it worse. Good lord, but yeah. Odd man for the infantry there. More gun the way there for Elpen. Another Penta 4. Now Pilek is the one in a pretty bad spot. Like he was ahead there by far, but again, just that small moment of just, I don't know, oh, confidence and not paying attention. Either way, allowed Elpen to quickly wipe two infantry scores and then again Pilek just piled on my charging the Sherman there, pointlessly and getting it destroyed. Like, had he not done that, he could still think, you know, somewhat, you know, said 50-50 is here. But now, he's actually behind Elpen. And Elpen is just about to make things worse by adding in a second Panda 4. Pilecki is forced to go for another anti-tank, and, and he can't usually place his armored losses either. So, yeah, be careful about just charging your tanks. I mean, sometimes you have to do it, but, you know, you should do it as part of a large attack and not just send in the tank on his own, in particular not head on. Like, if you have to send in the tank aggressively like that on its own, you should want to, like, you know, explore, exploit smaller routes on the side, you know, try and hit them from an angle where they don't expect it, rather than just straight down the bloody gun line. Like, never charge a single tank down the gun line unless somehow you are 100% confident the opponent has no way of dealing with it, which typically it won't be. Yeah, that was a pretty bad call to Blake. I mean, of course, he's still in the game. The M1 and Sinker can still do a lot there, but his opponent's two tanks out, and again, Pilecki suffered significant infant loss as well. I mean, the infant loss is probably the one that really hurts. Like I said, he just lost to Sherman. It's like the infantry. He's probably in a better spot, but now he, like, he's really far behind. And when I turn the entry gets to the Pentafall, lost the ambulance. Well, really nice work there against Pilecki by Open. Really nice work. Certainly not making things easier. Pentafall holding back here. Quick to get out of there. Very good. So Pilecki right now has effectively two infantry squads here, but he has two machine guns, but he's opponent with one infantry squads, and more importantly, two tanks. So the situation for Pilecki is very dark there, going on second rounding and setting up there. Good hit on the Pentafall's rearmor, pushing it down to half health. We'll have to see what he goes for next, might just go for regular Sherman, but I think he should still commit to EC8, though obviously he may not quite feel incentivized to, towards that because he just wants to get out something fast. We'll of course have to see what Pilecki do, he does here versus Elpen. We'll have to see what he does. Panther moving up there. Nice hit from the bazooka. M1 and tank moving up there. And shoots and misses the Panther 4. Other Panther moving repaired. Might have a chance of getting the Pioneers out of the way here. Where's the bits to push back the gun of the ears? Machine come at the flank there. Not bad. And there you go. Alpen quick to fall back here with this Panther 4. Captain Charge pulled back up the entertain. Looks to at least try and maybe take out one Panther 4 here. But Alpen is able to salvage that one. Around the eastern field pond there. Panda 4 being fixed up. West side here, we got the M4 just moving ahead, but he's getting caught a bit of gun deers in heavy cover. He's gonna need some support here to deal with that. Eastern field now halfway ceased by Pilecki. He's very close to another EC8 here versus Elpen. Of course, he could be tempted to also go for Jackson Tanks on there. We go, we got more storms up for Elpen. Ping right behind the M4 to the reactions. Thumbs up there to Elpen. Putting about a total of five minutes scorch again versus El Pilecki, who only has two. But he can soon commit to that EC8. He just needs a bit more fuel. Just a bit more. Captain falling back, M1 tank holding up, fifth cover as well there. Grabbing the point there. And then go another EC8 for Pilecki. Open meanwhile is going for tier four. I mean, with two Panther fours out, 
and the sort of damage he's done to Pilecki, he can easily go for that, I think. Obviously, I still recommend you sticking to tier 3 and you should, you know, going for another Pentagon Ospin, but at this point, there's absolutely nothing wrong in him going for the Heavy Pants for only approaching for, like, something there. Storm to Chunk here to attack the Vines. Pretty close here, but risk getting wiped out. He gets the machine gun, though. But again, good chance of getting wiped out here. Elpen pushing luck too far here. And then again, he's got a bit more room to give. There you go. Pentagon Chunk, he's got Rout Court entering here. Barely turned alongside the machine gun. Got the armor piston rounds up as well. Easy hit, almost done. Still not using the Captain Supervisor. Again, feels like a mistake there by Pilecki once more. The there you go. Second EC8 out for Pilecki. Freedom, democracy, also worth noting. Still no weapon max. He has gone for grenades though, which is definitely also not bad at all. Though we haven't yet to, I think, see any of them versus Elpen. There's been upgrades to veterans under these status. Fifth cal there, halfway done. Troops getting out there. Gunners are far from the EC8. Pentacle shoots, misses the EC8 there. Pack forward gets a hit, there you go. Gunners pants fast in the Sherman, pushing it down into damage engine status. He does get out of range, I think, of the pack 40 here, but once more, seems like Pelecki slightly pushes EC8 too far here. Well, this time he doesn't need then he proceed to lose it, but. He's going to need to fix up that fast here versus Elpen. Elpen's got the heavy panzer co-op. He's not slowing down at all there. He's just going to push for something fast here. Maybe sort of begin hitting Pelecki over the head with that as well. Might see a panther feather here. But obviously the strong panther or the panther to be honest. All options here. All the options. You see they're almost fixed up. Going for the co-op on the west side. We've got to on these season points there. And another machine gun for Pelecki. I really think at this point you just go for weapon racks though, or more infantry to be on for another machine gun. But here we are. Basically, Jack of the Panda 4. Entering westwards. EC8. Almost good to go here for Pilecki and the 4th Armor Division. Grand Western Fuel. Grand Eastern Fuel with the gun to use. We've got 239.267. A minute. This guy, Pilecki still has the victory point lead versus Elpen, but I've got Gunnies flanked by the Sherman. Slow down some kills. Machine John in the front, Panther moving up here, back to our Pioneers. And saying no we've seen. Captain Buck get wiped out here, cover shattered. And when I think it's great hit the Panther down to half health. Eventually two, they could see the Panther go down. And oh, misses for the anti tank and ECA. Gets the Panther 4, a stinging blow there. Captain retreats, Gunny's moving in a gun for the Sherman, there you go, target weak point, standing up the Sherman, Gunny's moving in here, shot miss from the Pack 40, shot bounces from the Panther 4, there you go, M1 is landing a great hit on the Panther 4, no use of take in here, Gunny's club being knocked out here themselves, Sherman moves in for another hit, Panther 4 was knocked out here, and the Panther 4 is knocked out, huge blow to help him. from Pilecki, and the Gunny's go wiped, holy smokes, in a matter of moments, Elpen has just managed to reset his advantage versus Pilecki, and Elpen, in a sheer moment of frustration, desperation, goes, of course, to the one true god, the Stug. Each of these people are going to use. El Pilecki, though, still needs infantry. He badly needs infantry, though, of course, still has a lot of machine guns. They can't quite substitute him for there. Go. Sherman, the advancing troops, they good hit. Sherman bounce, uh, avoids their hit from the pack 40. Rob coming up, they could pop a grenade hit. Actually, there we go. Grenade through the windows, or the doors, or whatever. Pioneers taking heavy damage. Another unit wiped out somewhere. I don't know where. Looks like here by the Western Fuel Point. Sherman being repaired. I need to pick a bit further back with it. Stu Gomez done for Elpen. One three could also do good here. Keep up the pressure versus Pilecki in the infantry department. Ruffin against Rathcourt. He needs to treat that. Fifth cover opening up here. MD4 tuning support as well. EC8 slowly getting done in there. Goes Stu 3G arriving for Elpen. For Germany. Deutschland. Here's Ming West was there. Whoa, something got sent flying. I think that's a bit of a tree pack 40 number 2 almost done there for open more rifle finding away for Pilecki very good EC8 right about down there Stugling Westwood's here no pin option added he definitely should do that he definitely should do that fifth cup thing right in the east we got 239 numbers of 30 Stu charging in here, coming up in the resistance, shoots and misses. 
You see the catching Ghanese and quickly forcing around here with its 76 mm gun. The Ghanese on retreat with Oberfeldweb Ludwig leading the retreat. Leading by example. Ghanese moving in here. Five kills with go pack forward ready here. And once more, Pilecki cut through to uh, the Abitur Enthusiasts with the tanks have pushed them in too far here. Good hit from the pack 40 here. But now it's going to get circled by the same time. Pilecki's tank is going to be deep within enemy territory. And there's a Stuke moving in alongside the other pack 40. So that EC8 may not last much longer. There you go. Pack gets a hit. Sherman getting ready to but there you go. Stuke gets another hit. And the Stuke would like to finish it off here. Meanwhile, west side, we got a bit of push there. East center here. we got the Germans close to the car for him there. Going for it, in fact. Sherman knocked out here. With that, oh, Kalecki has, well, not a lot left. He's got some infantry. He's got no armor left. Elpen has armor, and he can easily get more now. we got White Fuzz called in here against Elpen. I'm not entirely sure where the White Fuzz is landing. Oh, here. Close to the car point, force the machine gun. Camping with the Punira machine gun joining in as well. Stug charging ahead here. Stand up in on machine gun. Definitely should add that. It really just had some nice damage to the Sturmgeschütz 3 as from G. Captain Fords here, 19 kills, ace a level. Enforcing healing. Stuart moving eastwards. Got 239 and 292. That's it. Alpen's resource situation infrastructure looking much better here than Palaki's. Truth be told, Stuart got close. There goes finally, and the MG42 on top there. Thumbs up to Alpen. Panther for open as well. Another white fossil's badge ready here at Fort Pelecki. Captain catching the pack force machine gun they're gonna use here. Good machine almost done. Got the victory point too, gets another kill there before the machine is in ready. And there you go, pin machine added, fifth color retreating in face of the Stug, and there you go, another kill. It could actually wipe out the machine gun at this rate. There we go, Stu clears out a machine gun on its own. Two thumbs up. Captain Lucky walked up with the Gunnadiers. And there you go. Pelekis renders a loss here for the 4th Armored Division. Shattered by the 2nd Panzer Division in a battle of brutal wills here on Angerville. So I hope you enjoyed this match. I've learned something from it. If you did subscribe, like, share, comment on it. Tell a friend, tell a friend. But don't tell enemies. This is been Pearl Links and Cheers. Thank you for watching. I'll see you tomorrow again for another episode. Bye.